The islands of Ocean's End are quiet, mellow little places that happen to sit atop ancient secrets. Local explorer Mirai stumbles into one of those secrets while collecting fruit, falling into a strange cavern and discovering an unusual artifact. Suddenly, Mirai has the power of flow, an arcane gift that allows her to create and destroy. This gift is going to let Mirai raise oceans in to new heights of splendor, but it's also going to attract fresh trouble from across the seas. Flowstone Saga is an RPG puzzle hybrid with the player clearing lines to deliver attacks and counter enemy moves. Now the core gameplay is going to remind you a lot of Tetris in that it's built around rotating and dropping pieces to complete lines. The gameplay flow has a different feel though. Most of the game's mini combat mechanics favor quickly clearing lines over carefully setting up big plays, and leaving gaps isn't necessarily a bad thing or even an error. An optional setting also makes it so that blocks only move downward manually, turning it into a true turn-based game. As mentioned, there are a lot of mechanics in Flowstone Saga. These include a range of magical attacks, elemental attacks, a heat aura that increases damage with quick play, positive and negative effect blocks, and a range of upgradable classes. Combat itself is very forgiving on all but the highest difficulty setting, so it's no crisis that the player doesn't master every one of these mechanics. There's also a lot going on outside of combat. The same puzzle mechanic is used for a number of non-combat mechanics and side quests, including mini puzzles and resource gathering. The latter is used to upgrade and expand the main town, which is one of the game's core features. Watching the world grow is what keeps the game moving forward as the plot, while passable, doesn't exactly stand out from other JRPGs. Flowstone Saga is a very easygoing game overall. It might not satisfy the serious RPG fan, but it's a good choice for someone looking for a more mellow experience.